Hello, welcome to this vlog. So I hope that you're well as always and have had a lovely 10 days since I last spoke to you. It was about two weeks since I vlogged and thank you so much to all of the new subscribers and to everyone who's commenting and interacting and everything. So this vlog was going to be quite a horsey one but it's, now it's going to be a bit of a, a fashion-y and a bit of horses because there was just a little situation which took us a, a bit of bad luck basically. So I will show you the Cockermouth Country show that I went to and watched all the equestrian events there. I've been for two riding lessons since I've seen you and I've done a bit of cooking. This afternoon I'm going to go and do some cooking for the week and so this situa situation I've decided to basically study my uh, move into the uh, equestrian uh, as a career and so I'm studying now I've started I'm already in the flow to do my um, British Horse Society BHS exams it's not like a quick thing so it will take quite a, a long time but that's what I've decided to do and that's what I'm doing and so I've been looking for work on a yard and um, so I've done a day's work on a yard uh, hence the shredded hands because it's been a long time since I've mucked out and I didn't know I would be working I thought I would just be there like observing and yeah so I, I like go to bed every night moisturize my hands so I need to stop doing that now and I've bought some gloves so I'll be putting the compede on these and wearing my gloves when I go back but it's really exciting so I thought I would go to Scotland pretty much the border to this equestrian shop and buy a helmet, uh, boots and jodhpurs and gloves. That was the other thing I was going to get. And then, so it took seven hours on the bus. I got off the bus in this little village and I checked the opening hours before I went there. And then I got to the shop and then there was this little handwritten note on the door saying, new opening hours, closed Wednesday. And it was Wednesday. <laughs> I was just like, so like, just breathe. I was like, I was like, it couldn't be any worse. I was like, it's fine, it's fine. Just laugh about it. And <laughs> this is the worst thing that could possibly have happened. Not only that, but on that journey as well, one of the journeys, there were several buses to and from this place. And we were going like 60 miles an hour down the road, but like behind Carlisle on the bus and I just noticed about the same time as everyone else noticed that there was a car coming on our side of the road literally about 40 meters away and it was like everyone suddenly noticed at the exact same time that there was this car and I was like we're gonna hit it and then and then the bus driver was like beep um and then literally at the last minute they swerved out of the way and it was like this it, it was just uh and anyway and then there was another crash on the roundabout coming back uh, near the A66 and it was blocked. So we had to drive all the way out an hour detour to get all the way back. So it was like a 12 hour day <laughs> to go to a equestrian shop, which was closed, but it's not all bad because I, so I decided to go to get, go and get the bus to Carlisle, to Carlisle, sorry, instead, and have a shopping day there and just, wander around and like just I was just thinking is there anything I need and I can go and look around the shops in Carlisle so I did pick up a couple of sp uh, gym trousers which I then could also wear to the uh, to this yard and then to just for like mucking out and things like that and and I also picked up I went to Primark which I haven't done for years and years and they've got some shoes that actually fit me their size eight is actually a size eight because some places size eight it's like a six and then other places size eight is like a nine and a half they're, there's just so uh, yeah and then other places i used to be able to shop at they it's like they've changed all their sizes down a size so i can't go there anymore so i'm just really limited by where i can shop for shoes which is why i've hardly got any shoes but i got some i got some lovely little ballet pumps and some rita aura boots black boots and everyday trainers because i've only really got trail running big big huge clumpy trail running shoes trainers and yeah so i thought i'll get some like towny trainers that look a bit less 
clumpish. They don't they are quite clumpy the ones I've bought, but my others are like enormous because so, I wanted because I used to do the ultra running in them. And so I wanted room for the thickest wool socks and then I didn't want any yeah, robbing. So I got the most enormous <laughs> two pairs of trainers, which you've seen already. So I'll show you all the outfits that I bought and I will show you all the recipes I've cooked. I'll show you all the beautiful flowers. The house is covered with flowers everywhere. Everything is growing so big outside. And I was like, I don't want you to be this big because then I'll have to keep getting bigger and bigger pots. I was like, I want you to stay small. I don't know if this is how plants work. I was hoping if I um, prune them and keep them small, then they won't keep getting bigger and bigger. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll see what happens. This is an experimental year. So I've snipped all the hydrangeas. They've all come in and they're quite small again now. Like how they were when I bought them. Um, and then, yeah, I've shown my two horse riding lessons and mum's coming soon so i'll need some outfits of up the, so we're going somewhere very nice for one trip there's a new dress which i picked up from the charity shop which i'll show you for eight pounds it's phase eight so the other the sky dress I can't see it the sky dress the bloody blue one with clouds on it that's from phase eight as well from the charity shop so i've got this new one which might be really nice and i've got some shoes to wear so let me know if you want to, what you think of the outfits. And yeah, hope you enjoy the vlog, hope you're well, and talk to you soon. Time for horse riding. I rode a new horse for the last two lessons. This one is so sweet, really like peaceful, lovely temperament. And I'm getting much more comfortable now, especially at cantering and the memories are coming back. I did do one walk last week uh, went to Keswick on the bus and went up there. That straight ahead is the Newlands Valley and Cat Bells where we went in the last vlog. So it's the weekend and I'm just off to now the uh, Cockermouth Country or County Show. Like, I think it's going to be like the Bucks County Show, which is the one I used to go to when I lived near Buckinghamshire. So we'll see what happens. But um, I've been outside to check the weather and I've changed my outfit like three times because well, I'm not sure what it's going to do. So I thought, well, what I'll go with for the moment is <laughs> um, I've got my nice gilet from Jules. and uh, some joggers and my uh, sort of warm-ish the little cashmere top that I got from the from Kendall from Jules B sunglasses let's go 182 to 185 first and second please report to the ring for the central perpetual challenge book the champion and second of classes one eight. This lady here, who looks really lovely in her dress and her nice hat, she's the judge. 
This is her showing class, and the lady with the jeans, that's her sort of assistant. And you can see here, these are the heavy horses. That's the heavy horses class. And then these are the like the course builders. They between the classes they go around and measure the jumps with a measuring stick and change all the jumps and the course to the new height. And these ones are doing a lap of honour. They are the winners. This was my second lesson on this horse. This is my new jigsaw setup. So I've got this uh, really handy board. So I put it on my spinny stool and then I can do the jigsaw on the table and then put the extra pieces on the board. And I've actually now just bought uh, my first a thousand piece jigsaw. So I've now got two boards. So I keep one on the left, one on the right, and then I do the jigsaw on the table. And I have gone horse mad. So all my jigsaws are now horsey. We've had a good mixture of weather this week. Either the plants were outside getting an absolute battering. There was a couple of nights when I actually had to bring them in because I just that one there is just getting absolutely smashed by the rain. And then other days like this. And then, as I said, I did some cooking this week. I made a couple of recipes from Simply Raymond, as usual. I did the vegetable samosas for the first time. I didn't really understand the folding, so I had to look on YouTube for videos about how to fold them, which is why mine uh, double the size of his. And then they fell apart because they weren't, the, I think the pastry wasn't thick enough. So I didn't, I didn't nail it actually, but they tasted nice and they just about stayed together enough to be able to eat them. And then you've seen this one before if you've watched most of my other vlogs from Simply Raymond, as usual, the flourless banana crepes, which is one of my favourite breakfast recipes because it's so easy and so fast and tasty. Oh, and I went to the bakery first thing in the morning and got this lovely bakery. I think it's a loaf with treacle in it. So I've been having that with toasties. As usual, 
We've been to the Lakes Home Centre in Cockermouth for our barbecue loaded fries. And we had a steak and ale pie and shared everything. And then this is the Brompton, my bicycle, that folds up and I can keep it in that IKEA bag and then take it on the bus and that's what I used to get to the yard to do that day's work. Alright, time to show you the lovely dress that I've bought here and some of my new shoes. So this is the uh, Phase 8 dress, which I love because it's just so comfortable and I think it fits nicely and looks quite smart but not too dressed up. And these are the lovely little shoes, which I love them so much. I think they're so cute from Primark. And I think I'm going to wear them loads. I think they're going to go with quite a lot. So I tried them on with the Alexander McQueen shirt and leggings and I think that looks nice. S styling is not my speciality so do let me know if you have a better suggestion. I've got these gorgeous wide leg cashmere trousers which I do not want dragging on the floor wearing flat shoes but I'm not sure if these are just a little bit high or whether they look okay I have got the trousers pulled up quite high but I think that looks quite nice I don't know if that's just the look or these are the Rita Ora boots maybe they look a bit Better. Looks quite smart. A bit more wintry, perhaps. And then I've got these town trainers, as I said, to just go with my big joggers for just um, flopping around in, but not they're not as casual as the big trail shoes, as I said. And then these are the uh, uh, riding trousers I've bought. So my first pair of actual jo jodhpur style. And they've got this really good pocket on the side for the phone. And then they've got these like uh, grip bits. So yeah, if I do do any riding, then I can ride in these as well, which is quite handy. And they're thick, so they'll be good in the winter and the summer. <laughs> 